All right. <laughs> hey guys, how's it going? Hi, hi Jory. Hey, Jory. Hi, Adam. Hi, Dan. How's it going? Hi, Dan. Today? Hey, Adam. How are you doing? <laughs> good. We're doing all right. It is so good to see your shining faces. It's so um, funny to run into you guys here. I know. Yeah, I was just hanging out uh, and on Google, and I noticed you two were online. Yeah. So I, you know, we just saw each other a few weeks ago for Boku Fest, but it's really good to see you guys. Uh, Again, online. I wish you were here all the time. So, anyway, um, you know what I was thinking about today? I was thinking about um, how to help other people get uh, started contributing to open source. And so, you know, you guys are pretty active in the community. So I thought, hey, why not talk to Adam and Dan? Those guys. Uh, yeah, those guys. You guys seem to know a thing or two about it. So a little bit here and there. <laughs> a little here and there. Yeah, so I, I was curious if, like, you know, Adam, Dan, if you guys could share your stories and, you know, kind sure. of talk I about. Would, yeah, I would love to, in fact. Um, so I got involved in open source through IRC, uh, which is Internet Relay Chat. And once upon a time, I had to go there because I had some jQuery questions. Um, and I kind of just stuck around there and started answering other people's jQuery questions and meeting people who made jQuery and learning more about JavaScript and jQuery and going to conferences and then gradually knowing the answers to questions and meeting more and more people. And then, I mean, it just sort of just grew and grew and grew from there. And now I, like, have a lot of, do a lot of work uh, on various aspects of the jQuery Foundation. <laughs> Well, you're you are um, serving now, Adam, as the um, developer relations uh, guy for jQuery, and so I'm sure you probably get a lot of questions about you know from people who want to get involved and um, kind of like you know maybe don't know how or or whatever. Yeah, um, it's also like I was there a few years ago uh, when you. It depends on your background, I think. A lot of people want, like, a lot of people come to open source with, like, a strong background in not open source and, uh, you know, b using Linux and all these things. But a lot of people also come to open source from, like, oh, I learned some HTML, I learned, like, how to screw around with WordPress templates, like, sort of not comfortable on the command line, not comfortable with, like, version control. Um, and it makes open source seem kind of like intimidating when you get there. And uh, for people in the second camp, that's kind of who I want to help demystify the process for. So like, like people who may feel like me, actually, frankly, coming to Boku was really intimidating to try and like you know, get started and get involved in the community. and. Because they're sort of like, oh, these people are so smart, and you know, um, they they really know what they're doing, and and I I'm just a beginner, I'm kind of a noob, and so uh, you know, like it, it it is I think intimidating to uh, to try and like break break in, you know, so to speak. So it's like almost everyone seems to speak a different language, yeah, yeah. or at least like a dialect. <laughs> um, <laughs> yeah. So, I think, and I think to that point, like the one of the most important things you can do is know that everyone started somewhere, and uh, it's okay to kind of be where you are, and not, and it's okay to ask questions if you are sort of just waiting in and you don't quite know what people mean. Most people will explain, if, like if you ask a genuine question. Mm -hmm. So that's I think. Yeah, I think I found that to be true. Um, Dan, were you like really intimidated when you kind of broke into the community? Um, yeah, it, it was. Um, it was. It was also more. I think for me, the where do I start? And and so I got involved. Um, I started helping out on like Stack Overflow because I wanted to try to like sharpen my skills and learn more. And then I started. You know, I was like, I saw, oh, jQuery has like a support channel, and I, I got into there, and Adam was in there, 
I think, 22 hours a day about helping people. Um, he was just always around. Uh, him and Paul Irish were like the two that um, I started talking to a lot, and um, they actually kind of like, you know, held my hand through the process of like getting into open, uh, helping out with open source and helping out mm -hmm. with jQuery and that kind of stuff. And so, um, but getting into that, it was like, I don't know, you know, they're talking about Git, but then it's like, how am I going to contribute to this? Where's the needs? How, where do I even start? What can I do? And so it was very um, just difficult to like find a footing in that and find a spot where I could like try to actually contribute anything worthwhile because there's also the feeling of like oh well, these people are also smart mm -hmm. certainly I couldn't contribute anything that would be of value to them and so it was intimidating and hard uh, at the beginning which but is a good thing you, to go how did you find your like foot in the door so to speak like I mean what how did you figure out oh this is the thing I know I can do this um, at the time help uh, at the time uh, Paul um, got me into jQuery UI and so from there, I was able to have people, you know, point out things that, that I could do in little chunks. Richard um, Worth specifically, like, was like, hey, you, you know, let's work, help me out with this. Or um, Colin Stover was another one who, like, got me into, like, working with jQuery bugs. And he was patient with the fact that I didn't, I didn't know near as much as he did. And let me, you know, do little things to help or, or try out. And... Even like with the bug tracker, it was like just curating bugs, like going through the ones that are bogus that people put in that are just like, you broke my site, <laughs> close, you know, like <laughs> that kind of stuff, just help out. And help. Uh, yeah, I mean, Adam Adam probably has the best perspective on, on like that kind of thing. What do you think? I just think it, help is a great way also to kind of uh, acclimate yourself because a lot of the times, the thing that you know is you have some familiarity with a tool, and you, uh, but you also don't know everything about it. So if you go and try to find the people who are having trouble at any given moment in time, like a support channel or a forum or on GitHub issues or wherever, if you go and try and find the people who are having trouble, um, you'll either reinforce the things you already know in the process of explaining to them what the problem is, or you'll find new things about the thing that you didn't already know, or you will be in a position to have identified something broken about it and say to the people, hey, I don't know why this is broken, but at the very least, I was trying to help people, and now there's this bug. So how do we go about fixing it? So um, helping other people is awesome because not only do they get the answers to their problems, uh, but it can really round out your knowledge. I agree with that 100%, because that's, yeah. I mean, that's definitely where, where I got started was the jQuery support and helping people. And you know, there were those times where it's like, and I thought I knew everything when I first started there. Like, I thought, oh, yeah, I'm a, you know, I'm a badass. And then I found out that I knew nothing. You know? <laughs> and so there's definitely those moments where I was corrected by, like, you know, who's this age? A piano guy, and like, why does he keep correcting me? <laughs> but you dig into it and you figure it out. Uh -huh. And but one of the exciting things working with Adam was like um, starting to find out areas where, like, we might be able to take that experience of trying to find that footing and actually apply it to making it better. Which you know that was the I think that's the other part is like you learn how to help people because you've gone through it and by helping people you find out better ways to make the project successful. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm, definitely. Um, and then you guys have, have like done a great deal of work um, more more recently I think uh, Adam, uh, Dan with like the developer summit that you did a few months ago and all that sort of stuff to bring people in and I, I, I wasn't able to go but um, that sounds like it was like probably really a great way, I think, for people to meet the team and feel like good about um, getting involved and, and not feeling like maybe that intimidation factor as well. Like meeting the people offline uh, was probably a pretty uh, cool and, and um, good experience for those folks too. Like, so, it in general, I think it helps. And, I, and this is maybe a tall order for people, especially if people are start just getting started, but it does help to kind of 
find ways online or offline to interact with people who are involved in the project you want to be involved with. Um, and it's in, a, in maybe slight like subject, like not necessarily talking about problems or anything, but just creating relationships that mean when you go to solve problems, you have a much better sense of where someone is coming from as a person than like the only time you ever interact with someone is when you're trying to point out something that's broken in their open source project. Uh, <laughs> Yeah, I, I I can't imagine that like makes too many friends all the time. Like, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that's yeah, that I could see that uh, not being maybe as not being a great way to make friends, so to speak. But you know, but I, you know what? I think making friends is a good is a big part of like why it's why it's fun to get involved in the in a community or in a project because you know I think certainly like. Um, I've I've met people you know through J going to jQuery events and like you know, hanging out in the channel and um, trying to you know learn and stuff um, and contribute. So uh, you know it, and, that's and been it's awesome. obviously not unique to jQuery. This like everything you know, Node has it and and obviously beyond JavaScript just has it. It's um, it's kind of just about finding. That you're the uh, nation of the internet that you want to join, and then sort of, you know, setting up your home there. <laughs> it's like it's it's like, it is in a way like moving to a new city. It's like all right, I'm here now, uh, and I say this as someone who's never moved to a new city. I've lived in New York my entire life, but hypothetically, <laughs> um, you know, you get there and you're like, all right, well, I'm here, and now what? Um, that you start like unco uncovering the map and demis and removing the fog of war. Um, and GitHub is obviously a great way also to kind of start learn the lay of the land. Um, I remember when I was getting started, uh, jQuery there was no GitHub, um, and everything everyone was using um, Google Code or SourceForge or things like that that were just less. They felt less open. They weren't necessarily. They were like, with. It's kind of a common. There's a weird sort of synergy between, like, GitHub's explosion and people getting involved in open source because, um, that strong draw has, uh, and, the slogan of like anyone can do it, makes you feel like well I should probably be able to do this as opposed to like having to hunt down subversion repos online and well you know. I'm I'm not even ready to contribute, so why would I even bother? Um, which kind of brings to mind, Dan. Um, you should talk about what what we've been doing to find ways for people to contribute that are not writing code. Oh, definitely, yeah. Um, before we before we segue into that, there is oh, one God. thing because we we were on the topic of it and. Um, just before we put it to bed, anyway, um, was something that was unique, and this is to Adam's credit, which is why I, I want to like uh, point it out, is because the the hack day that we had, that um, developer conference, you know, where we were all together, you know, our developer summit that we had. God, what was that? Uh, October. It was October. Was that yeah. November. It was October. October. Um, but it was it was so unique in that sense of like it was just people coming together to work on a project. Um, and, and I feel like that's something unique a little bit in the community versus just people getting together for a conference or hanging out. Um, and I was just a consumer of this. Like, Adam's the one that, like, put his blood, you know, sweat and tears yeah. in this thing. Yeah. But uh, it was just amazing to see that many people working on open source together. And so I think when you get into that scenario where you see, mm -hmm. like, the fever of it and, you, and you're seeing other people and you're actually seeing them do stuff, it's really impactful, too. But um, see that too, like you see where people have limitations, and so as far as content goes, um, we worked really hard to to take the content that we have, not just code, but like all of our websites and you know documentation was a big thing. If if you wanted to help out with jQuery documentation, you had to have like our how was that on a media wiki? You had to have a user account. You had to you know. Or no, I guess it was in WordPress, and you had to like edit XML like in the WordPress post and 
if you ruined it, like the whole site would tank and just all this all these problems just to contribute. So you couldn't. And if you were someone who maybe was a fantastic writer or someone who is great at proofing or, or copywriting or anything you know, that you that's not code, you couldn't really cool. Um so yeah, like Adam Um, I'm only picking up drips and drabs of what you're saying. Yeah, sadly, um, I, Dan seems to have frozen briefly. Maybe he'll come back to us in just a second. Um, oh, maybe. Dan? Am, am I back? I'm loading chat so I can like you're, give you yeah, time. Yeah, you see. Oh, good. Yeah. No, it looks like you're back. So you were saying, um, I think you cut out at the point you were saying if you were someone who was a fantastic technical writer, and that was sort of the last. Time. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Like so, or, or to that point, someone that was really good at things not code related specifically, but um, you know, creating copy um, or proofing stuff. Mm -hmm. um, you, the door was shut on you to some degree because it was so difficult to get in and make changes or submit stuff. You just had to hunt someone down and say, hey, I think this is, this is bogus. So um, there was a lot of work into changing that. And uh, Adam's one that's been um, really working at like organizing that um, and, and getting success in that. I mean, it's been something that's been on the plate for God, two or three years that mm -hmm. like Rich a long time ago, like trying to get that into GitHub and what that would look like, and mm -hmm. it's been a really big process. But um, it's actually like working and successful. Why don't uh, you talk about the yeah like the, that part of it, Adam? Yeah. So, um, what we've done at jQuery is uh, we've put all of our sites into a single. Uh, WordPress install um, that you can run locally and develop against. And then all of our content, or almost all of our content at this point, is uh, stored in static content repos. So it's anyone, like, all, none of the stuff lives in a database, and anyone can contribute to it, and anyone can contribute to it in uh, kind of drastic uh, change kind of ways because it, you're isolated uh, on your, in your own development environment. and. Uh, it's kind of similar to um, Jekyll, or you know, a static site generator, uh, which, which, as a technique for deploying documentation, has also gotten a lot more popular in the last couple of years. Um, because again, any project needs ways for people to be able to edit the documentation without having to ask for permission first and without it being painful. So, uh, the way ours in particular works is, we have some grunt tools that uh, process the content and deploy it over um, WordPress's XML RPC into WordPress. Uh, and, and that's for if you're developing locally or uh, when the site is on jQuery.com or, and then we also have staging environments. And then we automate all those deploys uh, using Git hooks and the same uh, grunt scripts. So it's, uh, Pretty rad, I think. Um, but it's also a paradigm shift for what a lot of people are used to. And but I also think it represents a really good opportunity to for people who have not like learned had to learn Git or had to learn. Um, the command line and so on and so forth because they didn't feel like they had the facility to contribute to you know jQuery core or any JavaScript library where they f where you're more of a consumer of JavaScript than you are a you feel like you're ready to write the tools you're earlier on in the the process per se um, for you to learn those tools without having that other thing to figure out so it's like okay I know how to write a sentence in English. That's something I'm good at. Or hey, I know how to write a sentence. I know how to write a lot of sentences in Portuguese, and I'd like to translate all of the jQuery websites. Um, either way, uh, you can 
do commits and you can have pull requests and you can do local development and install Node.js uh, and have a reason and have something to work on that is well within your strengths. And it gives us an opportunity to to give feedback to whereas you know, before, if it was a change, there, that was a lot more impactful to make a change to a system and then sit, have someone back it out and say, "Sorry, this isn't, you know, this isn't what we wanted, or, or this isn't this isn't fit." But like in a pull request, someone can make a comment and say, "Hey, we, how about this way?" Or maybe we can change this a little bit. And so it's a lot less um, painful to take criticism and feedback because it's a lot better approach to do that. So as far as like helping out the community, it's been much more. There's a lot more opportunity for like actual like collaboration. I think is 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 probably like the what I what I've seen, you know. And you know, um, it's been because I I'm really new to the community, um, especially compared to you guys. Um, you know, it's one of the things that's been really nice is getting instant feedback from Adam or from you know from people like oh. What about this? Or you know, did you think about X, Y, and Z? And it doesn't feel like somebody is saying somebody's necessarily criticizing you. You're welcomed into the community, um, but you have an opportunity to like sort of get constructive uh, feedback um, on your on your work. And um, you know, it, it just feels good. I think, <laughs> generally speaking, the way <laughs> the way it works now. So um, yeah. Anyway. I was thinking. Rad. Yeah. Um, so, you know, another thing that um, that I was thinking about is is how you know, the, clearly, like, there's a lot of advantages to um, you know the the libraries and the projects for for easy you know for people uh, contributing now, like the ease of contribution. You know, there's lots of advantages, but also, like, I think there's a lot of personal advantages for people to contribute to open source. And so, you know, I think it'd be interesting to talk about briefly, like, um, you know, how being an open source contributor has helped helped you guys, um, sort of, in your careers and stuff. Um, so, you know, going back to the idea of giving support, uh, doing that can really pay off in spades just day to day uh, because as you learn you know it, it's a way to expose yourself to a lot of problems that you wouldn't otherwise run into and then or <clears throat> you haven't run into yet but um, this sounds like a risky thing to say but I think I'll say it uh, there are probably fewer problems out there than there are like people having them. A lot of things crop up over and over again. So it's just a matter of time. So if you've learned about how to solve a thing and long before you ever have the problem and then at your job one day you run into it and it's like, oh yeah, yeah, of course, that's what's broken as opposed to having this horrifying, you know, six hour ordeal of terror that you actually helped someone work through, you know, a year beforehand or something like that. Are you speaking from experience with that? <laughs> I mean, sort of. You know, it's 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 in a way. You know, you, it's not necessarily even avoiding problems. It's just learning new techniques. That hey, now I when you come to a brand new project, you're like, oh, of course I'd learn about it. I'd do it with such and such a new technology or such and such a technique because now I know that it exists, whereas I didn't because I'm sort of just exposing myself to this like waterfall of constant other people's thoughts. Uh, when I yeah. got into code, yeah. yeah, when I got into, um, you know, coding as like a profession because uh, my day job was totally different um, back, but I was always a freelancer and so getting into, um, getting into a community where like you're helping people, you're trying to discern what their actual problem is, you're working on projects together with people. There's a lot of skill set that happens in learning how to how to express yourself, how to understand what, what the needs are of something, to collaborate with people and take in people's advice and I mean there's some, you know, like 
humility lessons and learning like, well, okay, that was like, I was sure I was right. And you find out that like you weren't, um, like I was against WordPress from the get go. Like I, I did not want WordPress and it turned out to be the most elegant system. And we, and with the help of, uh, um, uh, Nason and, uh, Coop from like the two. Andrew uh, and Daryl. Yeah. Yeah. I feel like we should um, give them a shout out really quick. Oh yeah. Those guys are so freaking smart. And, uh, and uh, and Corey, like you know, setting up our infrastructure stuff, like just watching that m get so fast, like watching our infrastructure get so powerful with this, um, you know, it's just it's amazing because you learn to like take a step back, take in all of the knowledge that's around you, especially about Ku. I mean, we have so much knowledge there, and so you learn a lot about like how to learn, how to teach, how to work together, um, and is like you know, hippie as that might sound, it's like, it's really powerful. And I think professionally, I think as far as a career, as far as personally, like, you just, you get a lot of value from that. And so there's a big investment that pays off when you get involved in that kind of community and work. It seems, I don't know, it seems almost like devaluing. It's like if you care about anything, then you know, uh, in the way like that a lot of people end up caring about whatever open source project they work on, um, that obviously sort of uh, transmits value. And like there's a reason that people come to conferences and they're looking for, they know that that's where they can find the like, talented people. It's because they, the people who are there are the people who pretty much care the most uh, and are likely to have got a breadth of experience from doing things like uh, all the stuff that Dan was just talking about and so on and so forth. Um, it's funny to note that like all that, the fact that you know we had help from WordPress guys on putting the jQuery stuff together was just a process of like going to a meetup and talking again. So it's, uh, it's nice. People are nice. <laughs> <laughs> you guys, you guys are nice. yeah, I was going to say, like, I mean, at the very least, it's just been, you know, nice to, you know, step into the community and, like, make friends, you know, like you guys, Aww. you know, so that, that open source, <laughs> contributing to open source gives me warm and fuzzies, <laughs> so there you go. And, and, and that's important, I mean, that's important to bring up because, like, we, I hear a lot about how open source contributing to open source sucks, and disagree. Well, I mean, disagree, but also sometimes it ends up sucking for people, and it's uh, sad that it does. And I, I wish that like more and more people would continue to sort of just take this ethos that everyone didn't know if something once, mm -hmm. uh, because. Uh, there's a lot of like derision and aspersions cast at people who try doing, try reinventing a wheel that they didn't know, or, or try something new that other that another group of people have experimented with before, uh, and no does work or no doesn't work or no kind of works, but have philosophical objections to, and people are really fast to get hot-headed and judgmental, and that sucks, um, and you know I I hope that that in, in as a newcomer to open source, it if you run into that it sucks, but you can only try to try to dispel it with positivity mm -hmm. and try to imbue that into whatever place you end up settling down. Um, yeah, you, you kind of just have to be the an example for other people, you know. Um, I think um, so. If, if you know, if, if somebody's kind of maybe being a little intimidating to others or whatever, I, you know, just try and support the, support people coming into the community and make them feel welcome and all that sort of stuff. So um, that's all. So I mean, come visit jQuery support and IRC because yeah, we'll be in there. yeah, jQuery is pretty cool. So other other than jQuery, though, what do you guys want to support and contribute to this year? Um, Dan, I know you've got 
something you're working on and um, you know I was just curious at Boku Fest several several Bo Coopers were working on like um, let's see Voxel which was Max Ogden's thing and um, and you were working a little bit on Bear Dan so just curious what you guys want to help out with this year well um, as far as libraries go um, it's half like wherever there's a need and you know, of of course, like the multitude of jQuery things um, will always be there. But uh, yeah, like, you know, we got um, our new plugin site kind of prompted me to make sure to like you know update all my plugins. So I'll, I'll keep working on those. Um, and then uh, yeah, I got GIF and um, Bear, which is not like quite released yet. But I mean, it's up on GitHub. But for um, actually deploying stuff to the server, use GIF. So that'll be a lot of work. Um, you know, and other libraries too. Been um, try and help out more Ash and mm -hmm. um, oh, oh, we lost Dan. We lost Dan. Uh, Should fish. Um, mm. Well, I guess uh, he'll he'll probably pop back in here in a second. There he is. There he is. Welcome back, Dan. Um, uh, Adam, what what do you want to contribute to this year? So uh, one of the things we're doing, one of the new jQuery sites is the jQuery learning site, which is kind of adapted from uh, jQuery fundamentals, uh, which Rebecca Murphy wrote a couple years ago. Um, and it's kind of designed to be the documentation in the middle that is not the API reference, but is kind of just like, here's stuff you need to know, or here's problems that you need to solve. So I want to, that's, that's a brand new site, and I want to keep uh, growing that out. Um, and gosh, <laughs> a lot. Oh, well, again, there's a whole world. There's a whole host of things. I've had the number of IRC pings I've had during this hangout is mm -hmm. two. Is <laughs> <laughs> um, but uh, that's that's what's. Um. Oh no, Adam! I think you're. You're frozen too. I guess I'll talk. Oh, and now Adam's gone. It's just me. <laughs> um, well, while they come back, I guess I'll say what I was gonna. What I want to uh, contribute to this year is um, Rick Waldron has um, a really cool library you guys know about. Um, I think uh, he did a hangout on it earlier this year. Um, Johnny Five, which is um, Super cool, and it's like our an Arduino uh, JavaScript uh, Arduino framework, and that, that just sounds like a lot of fun uh, to get to play with robots and JavaScript. Um, and then, of course, I'd love to continue to help. Um, oh, oops! I just ejected Dan. I do not want to do that. Um, I don't know how to unmute Dan. Sorry, Dan. Oh, Dan. Hey, I can unmute myself now. Yay! <laughs> I was like, you're back. Um, and we lost Adam, so for a minute it was just me talking to myself about. Oh, nice. Uh, yeah, you know, I, but I was saying I want to learn. Uh, I, I I would like to get um, involved with uh, Johnny Five at some point this year um, because it's. I just think it sounds way fun to be uh, a uh, to 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 work with Arduinos and JavaScript at the same time. That sounds like make little robots move around. I, <laughs> that would be pretty exciting, and then to help um, where I can uh, with uh, the learn site that Adam was just talking about. That would be pretty rad to continue to do. So that's what I want awesome. to do. That's great yeah. news. Yeah. I, th I think it, for a message, like especially what you're talking about, um, being involved in this stuff, like you're, you're introduced to so many emerging technologies. I mean like Rick and all his work he's done with Johnny Five and like marrying technology or actual hardware with JavaScript. Um, it's 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 incredible because there's so many things that are advancing and if you're interested in keeping up with new cool stuff like mm -hmm. being a part of these projects is really where it's at so that's awesome that you're getting into that yeah so um, I'm looking forward to learning more and, and you know and having fun while I do it I think it's another big important part and I guess that's another reason why I like um, this community so much is like I feel like I have fun I feel in learning about jQuery and learning about JavaScript and learning about all of these frameworks and libraries, like everybody that I, most everybody that I've talked to has been really cool, and um, it's been a lot of fun. It's, frankly, it's just it's fun. 
So um, hopefully, hopefully other people will agree with that statement. Warm fuzzies. Warm fuzzies. I guess that's it. Um, yeah. Anyway, well, um, you know, we've been chatting for a while, and I'm sure you guys have, um, you know, work to do on cool projects for Boku, right? Um, um, but uh, it's been. Oh, Adam, I think you're muted. Are you talking? I just got to. Okay. Yep. I was yep. just making. I was just talking about <laughs> silliness. Okay. Just saying. Oh my gosh, I have another important meeting. And project. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so um, anyway, I, so I, I just wanted to say thanks for taking a few minutes today and like chatting and, and um, you know about open source stuff and um, also to anybody who may watch this later, you know, come um, seek us out on uh, Twitter or um, at boku.com. Because I know Adam, Dan, and myself are always like super excited to talk to people about this stuff. Um, uh, especially, oh yeah, we've got our Bob guy there. Um, so yeah, thanks for thanks for hanging out and listening to us today. And um, we will, you know, catch you another time. Hang out again soon, right? Yeah. Awesome. All right, guys, have a good evening. Peace out. Bye.